<clears throat> so it is 2.30 in the morning, and I'm in the middle of the ocean, headed towards San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I am not sleepy at all. So we're going to walk around for a bit. Let me show you what's going on here. Here, this is my little key card, and as you'll find out in a few seconds, or maybe like a minute, I think it's a minute, yeah. Uh, when you don't have this in this, your lights will magically. Yep, that is to conserve power, people. It has screwed me over a couple of times, but for the most part, I respect it. Okay, so while I'm well documented is saying that sleep is my enemy, unfortunately the rest of the world hasn't caught up to that and still values that, and I gotta respect that. So I'm gonna be a little quiet here as I respect the uh, needs of my fellow cruisers and they are asleep at this time. We're gonna keep them down just a bit. And I'm gonna take y'all out of here real quick. Yeah, it is Wednesday. We're going to San Juan. It's again 246, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. But low. Mm, excuse me. God, that's that pizza I had. It's that 3 a.m. pizza that'll hit you different. And this is the layout of the Titan of a cruise ship that I am currently on. These are all the places to dine, eat, play, relax, have fun, be entertained, yada, yada. There's a lot going on. I'm like on a floating mall, pretty much. There's so much going on. There's a casino that's open until we hit land that I have lost some money in. Uh, wasn't too much, but it was definitely enough to be like, ouch. It wasn't like anything ridiculous, but it was enough to be like, dang. So yeah, there's that. Let me take y'all to the 16th floor. Let's see what's going on in the Lido deck. It's pretty early, so it should be dead right about now. Which is why I can kind of walk around with confidence in doing this. By the way, considering my newfound appreciation for what is called the Lido deck, I am now giving myself the nickname Lido Brown. You cannot take it from me. It's well established now, it's documented and it's cemented in history. Lido Brown. I think Carnival. Th this is not closed. I know. I, I know this ain't closed. Come on. It might actually be closed. Y'all closed it on me. Wow. I see how y'all do out here, y'all. See, I see how y'all do. Shoot. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, too, I'm, at, I'm up at 2.30. I couldn't sleep. I'm like, I might as well do something productive with this. Like, yo, I gotta do something. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. for them no problem what the heck I'm telling you carnival fix these sensors man I, I, I'm not holding it against y'all but your sensors got a thing against melanated people and I was in look I was in the Dominican Republic earlier and I can tell you right now I went a few shades darker I went from caramel to mocha 
I appreciate this. I didn't have this difficult time when I was caramel. But the minute I went to Mocha, yeah, yeah, it's just getting worse. The darker I get, the, the harder it gets to, for these sensors to, come on, man, calibrate these. Can we get some color calibration? Can I get some people of color calibration, please? As y'all saw, my light skinned compatriots did not have this problem. Oh, How hey, doing, what's up? So finally, we are here on the infamous Lido deck. I'm not going to explore too much because they are cleaning this up, but this place looks freaking magical, especially at night with all these awesome lights. They got this massive big screen TV where they use for uh, movie nights, uh, graphics, just in general is cool. The movie nights here are freaking insane. I haven't really sat down for one, but I've walked by as I explored in. The sound is pretty cool. They had Black Adam yesterday. Mm. C-grade movie, but it was a lot more enjoyable on the screen like that. Oh, sorry. Got the gentleman's way here. And uh, that is the Red Frog Tiki Bar. I have not ordered anything from there, but it's always packed every time I see this place. Let's see. So pretty much everyone's cleaning. The staff is getting everything ready for later today or later this morning. And this is, <laughs> as you can see, this is a tight run ship. That was horrible. But yeah, um, everyone's constantly working while people are sleeping and the cruisers are having a great time. They are getting work done. It never sleeps here. There will always be someone awake, whether it be the captain or the crew. That was crazy. I have not really seen this spot. Like, I've never eaten around here. I feel like I've walked by here a bunch of times. And that's like a thing on this ship. Like, I feel like I've explored this ship about five times. And no matter how many times I do it, I always see an area I never noticed before. And it's just crazy. It's just so much. It's so massive. And it's kind of overwhelming at first when you're trying to like navigate your way around it but you kind of get used to it after a minute and you kind of start getting a sense of direction and feel here i still haven't quite figured out the whole forward and aft thing especially when i'm inside um, one trick i've been doing is looking out towards the ocean which you can't see because it's pitch black at night and whichever direction i notice the water is going in and we're traveling i know that how we're going either I'm headed either forward or backwards now again it works fine when I'm out here or I can see the windows when I'm inside and it's enclosed yeah haven't figured that out yet uh I'm gonna get it before this trip is over I'm a I'm a I'm calling it right now I'm locking that in we're gonna go upstairs and hope we're not screwing anything up for anybody That is them fixing or maintenancing the ice cream machine. That is something you will not see at McDonald's, sadly. The spot up there, that is the sports area. So you're going to see mini golf, the roller coaster. They got a basketball court. Actually, why am I telling you? Let me just show you. Like, whatever it's show, don't tell. These are the basketball courts. Freaking massive. It's a full-size court on here for anyone that, you know, just needs to scratch that itch. They actually converted this into a couple different things. They had dodgeball earlier today. I wasn't interested in showing up, but my would-be team was uh, incapacitated from our awesome day in uh, the Dominican Republic, so could not really see that come to fruition. And yesterday, they converted it into a pickleball court, so they, there's a lot of events happening in this area. It's really cool, you know, sports court. Up there is the entrance to this amazing contraption of sorts it's the obstacle course uh, they have you secured through this little zip line like thing right here and you pretty much go through it my friends have been competing to see who can finish it the quickest i will take no part in that as you know that's not big man activity i am 269 pounds as a net well last i checked i definitely got bigger over the course of this cruise i'm hoping it's nothing more than five pounds but uh, that's me being optimistic considering it's been pizza 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 every late night 
in a mass amount of other good foods all day for the past two days, three days. So, yeah. Yep, that's the ropes course. This is the behind the scenes of the big screen. You see the different speaker systems and everything. There's a little walkway here. In fact, let me take you over here real quick so you can get a different angle of things. So this is the red Tiki Hut right below us. You can't really tell because it's so freaking dark. All right, yeah. And uh, let me see, raise up. Uh, okay, there we go. So yeah, you see everything down there from a different angle. I'm gonna have other videos up showing more detail of these spaces, so don't worry about it. You will get a better look at a lot of these things in the day and night, so be on the lookout for that. This little spot here is actually the joggers track that goes around this area of the ship. So they ask that you kind of make way because this is where they will be going when they're running said track. They have a uh, cornhole and table tennis right here, as you can see. This exit is closed off. And you know what? I feel like on that note, we can go, because I feel like I've shown enough of this particular area at the moment. And again, I don't want to, actually, I take that back. I'm going to see if I can show you all the mini golf course. I won that the other day. So these are little cabanas that you can chill in up here. I can often find people just relaxing in between play sessions of whatever they're doing. Or if they're just waiting for the roller coaster that's on here, the Bolt, apparently it's really well known. I have not gotten on it because again, big man activities. It says the weight limit is 300 pounds. I don't trust it. I don't trust it, especially I'm over the ocean. I can't swim. I don't trust it. I'm going to get over it and do it one day, though. So this is the mini water park uh, that you can bring your kids to. Go down the little water slide. They got the little bucket that pours a massive amount of water once it reaches a certain point up there. That's pretty cool. They got a little shower area. This, uh, this whole section is pretty nice. You know, a little something for the kids and the kids at heart. Got little shower stations here so you can clean off before you do it so you know you don't make it too messy. This is the miniature golf course where I came out on top amongst all my friends with a low, low, low score of 24 among nine holes. Yes, it only took me 24 strokes to get first place in this. There was actually a golfing event today, I think, taking place. Or actually, no, it's tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I'm riding a high of confidence. I might actually enter that. Oddly enough, though, I got to wear a suit. I had a suit on when I beat my friends and I made the two hole-in-ones. There is a hole-in-one event also. I will be wearing a suit for that, but I might be assuming a different name just in case I get trashed in said suit so I don't have to deal with it later. But that's between you and me. They didn't they got to know. It's like, you know, we ain't got to talk about that. That's just insurance. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. It's a cool little setup. That's normally where you'll find the golf clubs and balls, but it's late, so, you know, they lock it up so no one can uh, do any crazy stuff with it. Uh, actually, what's over here? Oh, dope. So I forget what this area is called, but as you can see, we got some hot tubs, uh, infinity pool looking thing. That gentleman is cleaning up. I did not mean to disturb him. I feel like a jerk now. Shoot. But yep. So they're cleaning it out at the moment. It looks a lot better during the day. That still looks pretty cool. Actually, I love these lights. It's a real awesome place to be before it gets super duper late. Check out the moon. And as you can see, they have a bunch of lounge, couches, tables, and everything. You can order drinks here, chill out with your friends and whatnot. It's pretty dope. By the way, before I forget, speaking on that hot tub thing, I actually have a secret side mission. Eh, not a secret side mission. It's a personal side mission. I'm going to chill in every hot tub on this ship before my vacation is over. I'm going to hit up every hot tub at least once. So far, I'm way behind. I've only hit up one, and it is, yeah, I'm, I'm procrastinating on that. Let's see if I can go back in here and get out of here. Leave these nice people alone while they work. Carnival, again. <laughs> Please, that's all I'm saying.
struggle, man. This is good. This lets me get where I need to go without disturbing the staff or getting in their way. Let's see. Do we go back to the room? Or do we explore a little more? And the lights just went out because I took too long. Yeah, we're going to explore a little more. You know, I think of the most random things. The thought just crossed my mind. What if we were going down there and we witnessed like a murder or something? Daddy. And it'd be like that movie where the guy breaks his legs. It's the one they made with the remake with Shia LaBeouf, where he breaks his leg and then he witnesses the murder. And the whole thing is him trying to prove that his neighbor's crazy. I forget what the original movie or story of that was called, but yeah, it'll come to me eventually. I think that one was called The Story Anyway. So here we have shops that I don't make nearly enough money to even look at, much less actually go there. If you want some jewelry for your girl or your mom, you got that. This is a nice little sushi place called Teppanyaki, which if you live in New Jersey, it reminds you of one that recently closed down that was a heart in the community and is sorely missed by me. And my friends, it's delicious. Casinos down there. In fact, we can go by there. I'm not gonna actually go through there. I think I feel like casinos still have like a touchy uh, relationship when it comes to cameras and recording. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rock that boat, so to speak. That's the Havana Bar in there. That's where they actually had the 90s trivia music challenge that I completely bombed on. I called All Star by Smash Mouth Rockstar. And I said it with a certain level of confidence too. That's made it worse. Like, roast me. Go ahead, roast me in the comments. I deserve that. Because just, there's no, there's no excuse for that. Okay, and this is 820 Biscayne or Biscayne. I think I'm gonna say Biscayne. Welcome to Miami. This is where all the Miami themed food spots are. Miami Slice is a staple around this time. That's where I get my pizza from. Uh, Deco Deli, Rudy Seagrill. That's the spot where I don't make enough money to eat at. And Bari 20, where I don't make enough money to drink at. Oh. This spot, Casina del Capitano. I think I pronounced that right. This place is freaking amazing. They're closed now, obviously, but uh, me and my friends had dinner here earlier tonight, and I'm not gonna lie, it might be the move to just come here instead of going to the formal dinner. I had some mussels and clams that were, they weren't like amazing, but they were solid. It was like a solid seven. Like, it was good enough to recommend to somebody, but with cautiousness, because then it makes you wonder why weren't they good enough for you to give the eight? There was just that little something missing can't quite put your finger on it. Maybe it was like a little zest missing. Maybe it was just not enough garlic. It's just a little something. As I judge their food, knowing darn well I can't look, I can't cook anywhere near that level. And this right here is the godsend. This is Miami Slice, where you will have the best pizza that you will have had on any cruise ship, probably. I can't really make that statement because this is the only cruise I've ever been on, but Dang, that pizza is amazing. There's the Deco Deli. Get some good sandwiches over there and a good hot dog. All the food over there is included with your crew, so you ain't gotta worry about paying out of pocket for that. I ain't gonna lie, this place looks pretty haunted at night, but uh, this is Guy's Pig and Anchor. This is the brewery where they brew their local beer on the ship, which is actually freaking impressive. So yeah, that's the area for the Pig and Anchor. That's the bar. I will hit that up at some point because I have not been there yet. Uh, this is where you can watch the game, whether it be football, hockey, whatever's going on. This area, I think, is the, I forget what the official name is, but it's like a thank you. Oh, here we go. I'm stupid. <laughs> the We Are 24-7 365 Heroes Tribute Lounge. It's a tribute to all the service people and all the branches of military that serve our country and make it where we can enjoy certain luxuries like this. So whatever way you serve this country, I truly thank you. And 
I appreciate you doing a service that not everyone is built to do. This is the soft serve ice cream stations. I've seen three total across this entire ship and each one as good as the last. Usually they all serve the same thing. It's vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry or a swirl of them. Uh, I don't think the flavors have changed that much. I don't know. I've checked throughout the week to see, but usually those are the ones I've seen so far and it's been delicious. It's nice to have these available whenever everything's actually open. So that's cool. Just check out the decor of this place. It's so cool. Like this is, this is totally a chill spot. And then you have like the brown earth tone color theme that kind of goes with the whole military tribute vibe they're going for. Like, they did a decent job with the interior decorating here. I applaud them for that, shoot. Is that leather? So this is suede, and this is like traditional leather. So yeah, you got your pick. Do you, if you hate that tra uh, traditional leather feel where it like sticks to your legs, you got this bad boy right here. You gotta appreciate that. I noticed this patio. I don't think I've ever been through here. Or if I have, I don't remember it because I don't remember really walking to this area all that much. So we're gonna see what's taking the place over here. Like. <sighs> don't know what's about to go down, right? I don't, do I even have to say it at this point? You, you, you know, you know whose fault this is. <sighs> mm hmm Oh, shoot. Yeah, this floor is glassed. We're not doing this. So yeah, they're cleaning the pool right now, but uh, it's a nice little area. It'll look really nice in the morning when it's all open and everything, and it uh, doesn't look like I'm going to slip and bust my butt on it. But yeah, um, I have not been up here. What the heck? I am not taking full advantage of this ship. It is so hard. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to get on this. We're, we're coming back here. Again, I got it. Actually, was there a hot tub over here too? There is not a hot tub, but we're coming back anyway. I'm, I'm, adding, I'm adding that to the list. Shoot. Oh, you know what? Look at that. We got more sports. More seating areas for the pig and anchor. That's where the band performs. You know what's crazy? This place is closed. And I still smell the smell of amazing barbecue. Like... It's making me hungry again, even though I just had pizza less than an hour ago. But it's like that's that smoked flavor, that smoked smell that like you can almost taste because you've had it so often. And every time you sense it, it just like does things to you. Like it makes you go back and want more. Like honestly, I could eat smoked anything all day. Like smoked salmon, smoked Turkey, oh God, I love smoked turkey. Smoked ham, just, you smoke anything, I can eat that junk all day, no problem. You know, figured I'd get a closer look at this area. We got foosball, I can't believe me and my friends haven't played that yet. Yo, we're going in on this tomorrow. Uh, they got shuffleboard, I think this is. Hold on. Well, just knock these out the way, we don't need that just yet, hold up. Let me see, let me see if your boy still got it. Let's see. That was the warm up. That was the warm up. That was the warm up. Okay. We're gonna go for we're gonna go for the three right there on the other side again. That was the warm up. I had to get it right. I had to get it right. Let's see one. Oh wait, 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 wait. We gotta do this right. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Listen up. It's shuffleboard time, and uh, yeah, we made it. We made it. I'd like to thank uh, the good people that made Cool Runnings for inspiring me to uh, succeed and make that. That did not include the aid of editing or movie magic at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna look ahead. Yep. We made that fairly though. Somehow I walked right by here and ignored this whole thing. This is their uh, gift shop where you can buy all your carnival themed uh, stuff. I think that's a Bluetooth speaker back there I was looking at. They got t-shirts, jackets, and whatnot. 
carnival store. Again, you got money to burn and spend. This would be one of the places to do it. Oh yeah, there's Rudy's Sea Grill. You can't see nothing inside right now. That's that uh, expensive place. That's that six-figure place you gotta have that qualification for to eat at. Yo, check out the stairway. So freaking elegant. Like, look, look, look at this. <laughs> That's straight out of Miami in the 70s. Like, what the heck? I feel like Tony Montana walking down that thing. Ah. Okay, so this spot is the Alchemy Bar. You will find some of the best tasting and possibly strongest drinks on the ship here. I had a island rum and, or island rum and coke. It was, I had an island old fashioned that was made with rum instead of bourbon and I didn't hate it. I still prefer my old old fashioned but the island one was a nice spin because I like rum too, so you know. I don't got it, but I wish I had the money to buy this right here. This, this art is freaking dope. I don't know why it speaks to me, but it does. And I want it and I want to hang it up in my room. Like, ugh, that is freaking sick. The moment I walked on the ship and saw that, I told myself, I want that. That's got to go on my wall. Unfortunately, we broke as a joke. Dang. These other ones are pretty cool too, though. Now that I give them a, another look over. Like, what's, what's going on there? Looks like those guys are. Oh, no. Okay. I thought they were fighting. They're sharing a cold one. That's actually pretty cool. This one, he's diving and swimming. That's a weird looking octopus. That looks like one of those eldritch beings from freaking. Uh, Bloodborne. This looks like something out of a. Uh, what's that? What's that book about the rainbow fish and the scale? Yeah, something reminds me of that. That's dope. And this is the casino. They have a bunch of different games on there that you can play if you're feeling particularly lucky. And also that little crane game right there that it has taken way more money from me and my friends than it should have because they have stacks of 100 or they have bundles in 100, 250, and $500. And we have not won a single freaking one yet. What the actual heck? I mean, I know it's a crane game and all, but come on, there's rules to this. There are certain things I should be able to do where I can win at least one pack. Like, I bet you if I bring one of those kids from Dave and Buster's or round one that's mastered the anime crane game prizes, they would clean up at that. It's ridiculous, man. Let's see, where else can we go? Where else can I go? Where else can I go? We're going to walk around until I figure it out. Oh, yo, so this is the Limelight Lounge. It is closed now, but I did a little bit of dancing thanks to uh, Paige who taught me how to do a couple of moves that I am going to try my best to commit to memory because they look cool and they're good for stiff people. I'm six foot four, it's a lot of weight to move. I don't really have the mobility that I wish I did. So it's hard for me to get loose and fluid. But she said with those moves, it's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna keep them and hopefully expand on them. Probably not, but hopefully, we'll see. And this is them practicing for a big show tomorrow. This place is freaking huge. This is a little stage and everything. As you can see, they have a bunch of different viewing angles for you to enjoy your show. I really dig the layout of this place in the blue color scheme. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can change any color they want, but I like this nice, peaceful, tranquil. There's the hanging bar there. There's a person just casually doing gymnastics. Yo, much respect. I wish, I wish. Shoot. <laughs> Portside liquor and tobacco here. You can get your tax and duty free liquor deals. Um, one thing to note though, they will not actually give you the liquor you purchase from here until the Saturday before your trip is over because they're a business, they want to make money and they don't want to step on the drinking package. 
So, yeah. There's that. That's actually, I think, kind of important, which is why I wanted to let you know. Oh, look, we got more artwork. But yeah, anyway, I feel like you should know that because I think it's a little, I think it's a little sketch to do that. Like to not let people know that ahead of time. That's something I didn't know watching and doing research on here. So yeah, keep that in mind when you buy liquor on the boat. You will actually not get it until you're about to leave. There we go, haha, <laughs> still here. I'm kind of thinking when I want to head back to the room and see what I got out of this cacophony of madness called a video and what I can do with it. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, there we go. And we are back in Mission Command, the base of operations. Dow diligently guarding the place, protecting our stuff. There's definitely some sleep deprivation going on here because I rambled quite a bit during that whole excursion. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it on some level. Thank you guys for watching this. If you found it any way entertaining or just a good time killer for you, let me know in the comments what you think. God bless. Have a wonderful night. Peace.